I'm Tom Downey. Follow me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowney. Time for our mailbag. Here we do these about once a week. Get into some of your questions from Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. First up, Timothy D. Williams. Right off, right off you about Derwin James here. What will the Cowboys do about the safety position? Well, I think they're looking at draft guys. They haven't shown a ton of interest so far, but they said that they've want, have wanted a true free safety. As of right now, with the Cowboys' depth chart at safety, I am not a huge fan of the way it sits right now. If, if I am Dallas, I am going out and getting more help at the safety spot there. You need help at safety. I am looking at a guy. Maybe it's Jesse Bates, a true center fielder. Maybe he's a round two, round three option for the Cowboys out of Wake Forest. Lewis wants to know, who's the swing tackle if Fleming is, is, is the starter at right tackle and Collins goes back to guard? Well, Lewis, uh, you're looking at Chaz Green or a rookie. So that's why the Cowboys have looked so heavily at Lyman in their pre-draft visits. They need more help there. Dan wants to know, how much will it cost for the Cowboys to trade up to like the 8 or 9 spot around where Derwin James is projected to go or maybe a linebacker like Smith as well? You're looking at a first, second, and maybe a fourth round pick and a sixth round pick as well to get to number nine. At the very least, probably going to be a first, second, and fourth. That's a lot to trade up. That's also why I don't want Dallas to move up in the NFL draft. I'd say trade down and get other day two, day three picks as well. Today's show is brought to you by The Guild. Visit stayguild.com and use promo code CHATSPORTS for 15% off your stay. I think it was kind of like a luxury Airbnb. Keep it rolling with some more mailbag questions down here. This one from Brody says... Should the Cowboys trade up to get Edmonds or Smith, or maybe just stay put and take Leighton Vander Esch? Well, Brody, good question here. The Cowboys haven't shown a ton of interest in Roquan Smith because I don't think he's going to be there. Same with Truman Edmonds. But they have shown a lot of interest in Leighton Vander Esch. You kind of look at the linebacker depth chart right now, and it's a big need for the Cowboys. Yes, you've got Sean Lee and Jalen Smith, but backup Joe Thomas, backups and Damian Williams. Damian Wilson, excuse me, that's not enough there. You need another linebacker. I like what Edmonds brings, an incredible athlete. He is still very raw, though, but he's just 19 years old. I don't think he lasts to the Cowboys, and I don't like the idea in general, be it for Edmonds or for Smith, as much as I like these players, I don't like the idea of sacrificing an extra draft asset, asset we'll say a second-round pick, to go get a linebacker when you only typically play two, yes, there are injury concerns. I would rather wait for someone, take multiple guys on day two or day three, than give me first and a second to go get a linebacker like Smith or Edmonds. Also from Brody here, asks if someone like Denzel Ward or Bradley Chubb are available, do you see them being drafted by the Cowboys? If Denzel's on the board, I think Cowboys would just say, yeah, let's do it, and then we'll figure out the corner position later because now we're set at corner. He's not going to be there, though. Same with Chubb. If Bradley Chubb somehow falls... Outside of the top 10, I think Dallas will go make a move up for him, but there's no way that one's going to happen. Time for the YouTube comments here coming in from Cole. Do you think the Cowboys should have signed Tyron Matthew instead of Alan Hearns? Cole, I agree with that. The Cowboys, for whatever reason, didn't want Tyron Matthew. I think that's kind of why maybe, maybe they don't want to go get uh, Derwin James either because they didn't think that he was a good scheme fit for them because he kind of plays around the box more than as a true center field type at free safety. But he only signed for $7 million, less than the Cowboys thought that he was going to get. I like getting Alan Hearns, but at a relatively similar contract, yeah, I would have picked up Matthew and I would have solidified my safety position and then spent a first-round pick on a wide receiver, be it DJ Moore, Sutton, or Calvin Ridley. But I want to know from you guys, do you agree with me? Did Dallas make a mistake in not pursuing Tyron Matthew? I think they did. I'm curious if you guys feel the same way. I'm a big fan of his. He would have been a great player for the Cowboys, but not the route they seem to want to go. Eli wants to know, how about Colin Kaepernick for a backup to Dak? Eli, I like the way you're thinking. I would like to get Kaepernick as a backup quarterback. I think he's better than Cooper Rush. The problem is, I don't see Dallas having any interest in him because I don't think that's what Jerry Jones wants. They seem to love Cooper Rush for whatever reason, even though I haven't seen a whole lot of him. I get the upside there, but I would love a veteran backup because if Dak goes down, season's over. But I don't think you're going to see Dallas have any interest there in Kaepernick because that's just not who they want as their backup quarterback. Lee wants to know, do you think Dallas trying to move or trying to deal Dez for a pick to move up in the NFL draft? No, Lee. The Cowboys would love to find a trade partner for Dez potentially, but no one's going to take on the $12.5 million cap it if he's dealt. That's just not going to make sense for the, for the team trying to get Dez Bryant. They'll wait if, if he's cut if that's the route Dallas wants to go. The contract is just too large to allow any other options there in terms of a trade, so don't get tropes up on that one. 
Today's show is brought to you by The Guild. Visit stayguild.com for 15% off your next stay. If you use promo code CHATSPORTS, think of it kind of as like a luxury Airbnb. A couple questions left here on the mailbag from God is Good. And he wants to know, everyone, tell me why Jerry Jones shouldn't be fired. I, I, I get what you're saying there because he's that's the mission as a GM. Had Jerry, Jerry Jones actually said this in the past, by the way. If he was the GM, he would have been fired already. But he's also the owner. That's why he hasn't fired himself there. But Will McClay has done a good job overall, I think, in terms of being that not quite de facto GM, but very near that. Jerry's not going to allow himself to get forced out quite yet. He's not quite reached the uh, end of the Al Davis tenure in terms of his draft decisions yet. Finally, from Stewart. Why is Tyrone Crawford still on the team? Crawford did not put up big numbers, hasn't put up big numbers for the Cowboys, and he's definitely overpaid with over a $9 million cap hit. But Crawford does a lot of the dirty work for the Cowboys on the defensive line. He's one of their top run stoppers, playing out of position, has done what the Cowboys have asked of him. The big reason is you're just not going to save any money. Now, if the Cowboys add another, another rookie on, in, in the draft at defensive end, a high pick, maybe see him make Crawford a post-June 1st cut. But with only limited amount of cap savings based on this year, I think Crawford is here to stay. But in terms of next year, after this coming season is over, that's when I think you could see Crawford on the way out. So you can save a lot more money as his contract goes up and the dead money goes away. Mm -hmm.